Hello everyone, my name is Tomas and today I want to welcome you at another in the series of tutorials for Basim21. Today we'll have a look on how to make custom interior skins. So let's get started. We need to start as usual with a new plugin. So let's make that. Content only, create the plugin. Next step as usual, add the mod info data asset that is also named mod info let's call it something okay and save it so to add interiors we need to click on add the element we need to give them some unique id so for example like this that also needs to be copied into the display text just in case else the game might crash and this is the simple solution how to fix that then if we want to set some custom costs so by default i think it costs 1000 credits but you can override that and set whatever cost you want and if you want to limit it to some of the buses you can do that, but for that you would need a list of the IDs, which are currently not provided. But if you're modding a new bus, then you can limit it to just that new bus. And let's create some seat and floor materials then. Uh, let's import some nice textures for that. And I'll do very quick one because that also works. So let's create a very quick in paint one for seats and one for floors. In the end, it can be just any image that you want to use. So I'll copy them over. And here we have them. So texture one, texture two. Ideally, it should be a square. Uh, for this demonstration purpose, since it's just a solid color, it doesn't matter. But if you want to use some patterns, obviously square is the best. Again, power of two is your best friend. So you should stick to that. Let's save them and let's create the material. How it works in Basim 21 is that we have one master material and all the customization options are just instances of that. So you need to search for M underscore bus underscore floor basic in the engine. So the very quick and handy way is to hold control P as in control print. Then you type in M underscore bus underscore floor basic. Double click that, it opens. I already have it open here, but it will open. And then you can click on browse, which then ports you to the location of the file, which is underscore game base materials. And then what you need to do next is right click and create the material instance. You call it however you want. So for example, bus floor tutorial, and then you need to move it to your plugin, which is very necessary, else the mod info would not pick it up where it is, and it will not correctly work. Let's open the material instance, and as you can see, the editor looks a bit different, but that's fine. And since we want to change the texture, we click on base color texture. So we want to override it. And now we have a black floor material. Same pretty much needs to be done with the seats. So again, you would search for M underscore bus underscore seat. It will open this uh, basic Mercedes seat. You then click browse again, 
create new material instance. So mbus c tutorial. Again, we need to move it to our customization plugin. So let's move it here. Let's open it, save it. And again, if you want the cloth, you don't need to override the seat masks or normals. So I just want a solid purple or magenta uh, cloth texture. But for example, if you want plastic seats, you also want to override the normals and masks. But for this example, that's fine. So we save it again. Then let's go into mod info and assign the seat material and the floor material to that. Let's save it, cook the mod, and let's copy it to the game directory and test it out in game. So as you can see, the game has loaded into the main menu. Let's change mod and continue. We obviously need to tick it, so it is gonna load. Let's continue the game with these mods. And let's go ahead and try it in the customization menu. So we click on interior and here we can already see that we have the new skin that we just created. So it has the magenta uh, cloth seat and plain black plastic floor. All right, so that's about it on how to create custom interior skins. It is pretty easy. The one thing that you need to be careful about is to create material instances and not just materials. But again, it's very simple if you follow this tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.